Kang, there was little room for independent success under his watch. Some have even suggested that his influence went beyond business dealings and into personal control over his artists. The Cassie Ventura lawsuit, disturbing allegations. Perhaps the most shocking claims against Diddy come from Cassie Ventura, who filed a lawsuit against him, revealing a dark and twisted relationship that extended far beyond the music industry. The lawsuit outlines a disturbing pattern of manipulation and abuse, with Diddy allegedly using wealth and luxury to control Cassie. He reportedly showered her with extravagant gifts, including luxury apartments and designer clothes, all while subjecting her to emotional and physical abuse behind the scenes. Cassie's allegations paint Diddy as a controlling partner, prone to violent outbursts. She claims that what began as an indulgent relationship quickly turned toxic, with Diddy allegedly coercing her into degrading situations. He's even accused of forcing her into acts of violence and exploiting her personal life for his gain. The lawsuit describes how he destroyed a fellow artist's car after discovering the man's romantic interest in her, further illustrating the lengths Diddy would go to maintain control. Most disturbing, however, are the claims of sex trafficking, where Cassie was allegedly forced into horrific sexual encounters with others, filmed by Diddy himself. According to Cassie, she was given drugs to endure these situations, making it easier for her to disassociate from the trauma. A lawsuit filed against Sean Diddy Combs accuses the music performer and executive of rape, physical abuse, and sex trafficking. The singer Cassie says the incidents occurred throughout her 10-year relationship with Combs. Her suit was filed under a law that allows alleged sexual offense victims to file past the statute of limitations. Cassie says she wanted to speak out before that law expires next week. Mr. Combs has denied all the allegations. For more, let's bring in entertainment attorney Dante Mills. So Dante, thanks for being with us. Cassie has signed with that label when she was just 19 and Sean Combs was 37. What's alleged to have happened after that? Thank you for having me, Catherine. So in this lawsuit, I just wanted to be clear, this is a civil lawsuit. This is not a criminal lawsuit. There's no chance here uh, as we stand for Sean Combs to go to jail. It's a civil lawsuit about money. And the claim is that during their relationship, uh, he was physically abusive, uh, that he uh, required or demanded that she perform certain sexual acts with other people while he was there. Uh, but the truth, sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit. But right. I'm trying to tell you, nah. nigga asked me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because I'm looking like, what the fuck did this nigga just say? Like, I want to take you shopping. I got a bankroll out this motherfucker. I want to take you shopping. Why? Because when you walk around looking so motherfucking good, I'm going to feel like, God damn it, that motherfucker with me. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. But when a nigga tell me he want to take me shopping, what the fuck is the matter with this nigga? Wait, hold on. Well, where was this at? <laughs> this was at the wedding. <laughs> this was at the wedding. Oh, nah, no, it's Christmas. Right after the wedding. I'm after beefing with Steve Stout. Stout and Puff is telling you he's going to take you shopping. After the shoes. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Swear to God. Swear to God, man. Everybody going to want to be at Chris Lady wedding right now. Everybody going to be like, yo, I was there. Why? And I'm bugging because look, while they were sitting there at the wedding, like I'm like this, look, because you know they both did here. Mm. I'm the only one who's been vocal about this long before it actually. Oh, nah, nah, nah. You've been saying this for a long time, bro. And like people are like, yo, why is he saying it? Like you crazy, but. I also house. didn't participate. I also didn't go to those parties. So a lot of the celebrity culture that you don't hear saying anything is because they participated to a degree. But um, I mean, like, why you never went to those parties, bro? Like, you know, those were like the talk of the town back in the day. Like, is there like a reason why you ain't go? I'm just not with all that freaky shit. Like yeah. all of the stuff that he's doing, I'm not into that type of stuff. I'm just yeah. a little more, maybe you could say basic or normal. You go to the 90s and Keefe D said he, he paid him to kill Tupac. It's a little, like, you get the craziest accusations. You had TMZ created a docuseries, they went to Tubi, but the, the series is saying the downfall of Diddy. But you like one of the first people to like, in entertainment, to call out these people, these crazy people, bro. And that's, you know, and we all like, we rooting for you because we know like the underdog is like, how did that come about? Like what, what makes you so special that you're able to do this? Yeah, I don't have a support system. I don't have a support system of a uh, peer group of artists that I require that. Usher's experience with Diddy Usher, another major artist who lived under Diddy's mentorship in his early years, also shed light on a darker side of the mogul. As a 15-year-old, Usher moved into Diddy's home in New York to focus on his debut album. But according to Usher, it wasn't all about music. In a revealing interview, he talked about the wild lifestyle Diddy introduced him to at such a young age, exposing him to parties filled with alcohol, drugs, and even sexual encounters. 
In a 2004 interview with Rolling Stone, Usher admitted that he was introduced to a totally different set of things under Diddy's roof. Things no teenager should have been exposed to. It seems that the glamour and success Diddy promised came with a price. 50 Cent's feud with Diddy 50 Cent has been one of Diddy's most vocal critics, and in the midst of Diddy's legal troubles, their long-standing feud has only escalated. Recently, 50 Cent took to social media, using the scandalous details of Diddy's sex trafficking investigation as fuel for his attacks.